Hey, welcome back to the channel. Shake hands with destiny. Where our whole thing is we talk about faith and finance. Okay. Why do we do that? Because our whole initiative is to eradicate hardships and stimulate lives. Okay. Why do we do that? Because our, my whole mission is I only shake hands with my destiny. If you shake hands with your destiny. So let's get it. Let's go. And if this is some fire content afterwards, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because we're going to be dropping a lot of fire on faith and finance. So let's jump right on into it today. So I was reminded by one of my favorite um, football players, Alton McCaskill, number 22, and I was buying one of his shirts and they called Deuce Deuce, right? And I was reminded by something that the Bible talks about, and it talks about atmosphere. It's what which God created on day two. He also calls it a heaven. Everything below the clouds, but above the waters, above the earth, was called a heaven or an atmosphere. He says where the birds fly. You don't see no birds fly underwater and they can't live underwater. No. Can a bird live in outer space? No. He calls it a heaven. And I want to just talk about atmosphere because where you live and where you grow, you have to be in the proper atmosphere, such as an apple seed. If you put an apple seed in Alaska, can you grow an apple tree? The answer to that is yes, you can. But will the apple tree produce an orchard or will it produce what it's supposed to do in its natural state? The answer to that is no, it will not because the weather is not in the right place to produce a complete apple orchard, right? But if you put that same exact apple seed in a place such as Florida, such as California, where they where they have apple orchards, will you have will you grow an apple tree? The answer to that is yes. But the key is, will it produce more apples? The answer to that is yes. Why? Was something wrong with the seed? No, it wasn't. It was something wrong with the atmosphere. If you're wondering why you're stuck in certain places, it's nothing wrong with you, the seed. It's something probably wrong with the atmosphere that you're in. I always talk about faith and what finances. We wondering why our finances are messed up or we don't understand money in the totality that is supposed to be. In. That's normally because we haven't been brought up in the right atmosphere. We know a little bit about it. So such as an apple tree that's being in Alaska. Right. And you wonder why we get here and then we get it back. We get here. Then we stumble back. You ever heard the phrase you take one step forward and two steps backwards? That's kind of how the apple seed goes in Alaska until we get into the proper atmosphere, uh, i.e. financial atmosphere. We won't understand how to get a 750 credit score and what that pertains to. We won't understand how passive income works. I surely didn't understand this stuff until I got into the proper atmosphere. And when you know you're in the proper atmosphere, that's when you grow, but you grow into an apple orchard. We know how many apple seeds are in one apple, but we do not know how many apple trees come out of one seed. Pick that up later on in the spirit, okay? So what that means is when I know something, I can now teach my child how to how to start her credit at 13 years old. <clears throat> I can understand now being in the right atmosphere, how to purchase investment properties. I can now understand how to purchase everything, in your business name versus your personal name and how you have tax advantages. Where do you learn this stuff? You learn this once you put into the right atmosphere. Hey, y'all, I'm only trying to get you into the right atmosphere. OK, so you can grow into what God ordained you to be with your faith and your finances. OK, if this has been some good content to you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Why, y'all? Because I only shake hands with my destiny if you shake hands with your destiny. Let's get it. Let's go.